Hi, I'm Ty Davis with GitLab, here today to show you how to set up a GitLab to Atlassian Jira integration using Jira's automation triggers. We'll get right into it here, showing how we can set up a trigger uh, with a commit that moves a transition from open to in progress or in progress to close. You can also set up triggers that shows the merge request and the branch as well in the dev panel within the Jira issue. Let's go. So we start inside the Atlassian Marketplace. We're gonna go search for the GitLab app. And once we pull this up, we're gonna go ahead and download GitLab for Jira. Quickly get that app. Get it now. It's gonna be adding GitLab for Jira. Go to Manage App. And once this is loaded up, we can go ahead and get to Get Started. And this is where we're going to add the namespace from GitLab. So if we go over to GitLab, we can see that I have um, the namespace highlighted. I'm going to copy and paste uh, what's after gitlab.com backslash. Um, I can be as specific as I need to be. If I want to just do tech marketing here, uh, all the subgroups underneath would uh, take on this integration. But in this case, Healthcare Provider Incorporated is the only one that's going to be synced with uh, Jira. For Jira, we're going to go down to Project Settings, go to Automation. And then inside of automation, this is where um, we're going to be able to create some rules. Uh, and you can see that there's several different triggers located inside of Jira. We're going to scroll down until we get to DevOps and we'll select commit created, save that. And then we're going to create a new action. Again, scroll down and we're going to click on transition issue. Uh, we're going to click in progress, save. Let's name this automation. We'll just call it the commit created, the create committed move issue. I'm going to turn that on. And now that that automation piece has been turned on using that trigger, go back to the project. And we're looking at HPI dash 43 here as a user. I want to um, import versions. I'm going to dive into that copy the link to that uh, indicator with ID. And then if we go inside of GitLab, we'll click over to Jira issues, look at the issue list, and we can see here that we have that exact issue um, pulling over. If I click onto that, it takes me back over to Jira. Um, so the Jira view list inside of GitLab is just a mirror. Uh, I'm gonna scale back to the project here. And once again, looking at that specific issue over in Jira. I'm going to go into our repository and then click into the web IDE. Uh, for here, we're going to make just a quick change. It's a very uh, simple code chain on a very uh, simple project. So in this case, we're just changing the background color for demo purposes, but I'm going to go ahead and commit that. Uh, this is where on the commit message, I'm going to reference that key from Jira and put HPI-43. Uh, pound sign in front of that is important. So and just write a commit message test to your automation. Um, as well, I'm going to put this in the branch uh, so that we have uh, consistency across both. I'll commit that. Then I'm going to go back into the issue as a user. Uh, I want to import versions, actually I'm going to refresh and then we'll see here that um, that's now moved to the in progress. So based on that trigger that I had that just moved it to in progress quickly, you can see the web link there to the commit um, on the development panel side there. You see that that commits now showing there you have triggers.